Is something wrong? Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In you, all things are possible. And so the adventure continues. is never a straight line. that caused the time of ashes? Looks like it. So, I never... Are you from around here? No, I'm not. I, um, spent most of my life in a place far to the east. Well, we both traveled a long way, then. This is it. Okay, let's find a way to get into the Proving Ground. <laughs> that complex should be Test Station Ivy. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. machines it can turn invisible we're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station We should be able to get into Testation Ivy now. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine can hold. This console's still operational. Another log. We're done in every way. The wreaths work, and Cobble came through on a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. But it's too late. The latest projections from US Robot Command have swarm reproduction, outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375%. 
not even close. I guess we deserve this. I deserve it for what I made here. This will be my last log before evacuation. So all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module onto my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. Must be the fourth testing station we saw on the map. Looks like it's been flooded for a while. In here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you! We can use the line to get down. Ah! Uh, right! Easy! Now what? Now, we get to that data core. As I was saying, I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. But we'd better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. Let's hope this new module works. Blooming. Let's see if the software works. Silence. They're falling apart. Door's clear now. Time to bring Demeter home. Demeter? It's time to go home. The Gaia. The seed of life. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But it kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. <sighs> It would take us years to get through all of this, but we don't have that kind of time. Uh, what you said before about work... <laughs> Alba! Hold your fire! By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you, an ancestor reborn.
diviner. We should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal, how long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. do as Alva says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might want to head to that tall neck I saw in the forest before I make the trek back. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. so big the old ones called it the lungs of the planet that's good to hear i wonder if it grew back after zero dawn looks like you got what you wanted yeah it's almost time to go after Hephaestus. finally we get to rock and roll yeah at least that's that's how the old ones said it i, I think bet you're used to that focus by now well, I can hit machines in their weak points. <laughs> I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me, well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. Which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. You know, make myself useful. Just give it time. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, the place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? I should get going. I uh, Say hi to Gaia for me. Aloy, is that what I think it is? Just need to merge it with Gaia, and she'll have enough power to handle Hephaestus. Good news. So, what can I do for you? I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't 
think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Well, before Zoe found a way to fix the land guards, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. Well, once we get a Festus, that's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Did you talk to Zoe after your fight? I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. Better get this to Gaia. You did it, Aloy. Let's hold off on the ale till it's over and done with. I'll let Aaron know. Aloy, you've returned. And you come bearing gifts. Does this mean we'll soon be able to uproot the Zeniths from our lands? That's what I'm hoping. Good. It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry! Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. I should get going. If you need me, you know where to find me. It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered to meet her. With the acquisition of Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I've been there. The Tanakh marked the entrance as some kind of ritual ground. I'll have to bring you there by hand. 
I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport ring. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone, will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. Alva said the Quen have a ferry on the coast that they use to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. Aloy, I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? I'm sorry, Aloy. After all the trouble you went through, you have to head west again. Well, no one said this was gonna be easy. You sure you don't want any backup dealing with the Quen? They think I'm Sobek, or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so, let me know if you need anything before you go. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zo coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow, how he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. While Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing, it's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. If I get Omega Clearance, and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. I'll be in touch if I need anything. I'll make sure Beta briefs everyone on the pulse generators. Good. That's just I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. 
Because it would have been too easy otherwise. You've been looking at any interesting data? I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solly food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. Aloy, I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clanlands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? Well, there's always Catalo. Leave aloud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. Well, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready.